Hi guys. So today I was using uh, this Reddit app and I uh, came down to a question uh, that was uh, that was by the way from the uh, from an ID or a page which is called Explain Like I'm Five and there was a question uh, that was saying why does the bus driver on school bus get a seat belt but no one else? I thought that would be a uh, informational uh, question that many of us wonder about. So why don't uh, post it on YouTube and share it with you guys so the answer to that question is so someone says here uh, named Ellie McGraw says, answers that question and says those horrible school bus seats are so weirdly shaped and uncomfortable because every single one is basically a fire rod and roll cage school buses are insanely strong and insanely safe in a head-on accident, students who are sitting properly basically can't be thrown from their seats because they are so high and so close together. Seat belts on buses may increase injuries because serious school buses problems are more likely to involve smoke, fire or rapid evacuation. Where seat belts delay evacuation than to involve a situation where seat belts would help more than the, than the high set seat belt. And it's not necessarily that school bus that's smoking, it could be an out of control car runs into the bus. The bus is fine, the car is smoking, the, car, the smoke is going in the bus and the bus needs to evacuate. So uh, some states or municipalities require seat belts on buses with under 5 because they are not very good at sitting in their seat properly and may be too small for the high seats to protect them in a crash. But they then typically also require extra adults on the bus because in an evacuation situation, those kids can't unbuckle themselves and can't evacuate fast enough. But basically the only situation in which seat belts on a bus are better than no seat belts on a bus is for students who cannot position themselves properly in the seat, often due to a physical stability. And in those cases, there needs to be an aid to assist in unbuckling in an emergency. I am not actually a huge fan for under fives on school buses because either option is more dangerous than a school bus ought to be, although still way less dangerous than basically any other transportation option. It is difficult to overstate how safe school buses are. In my state, in most, possibly all, they have to pass a thorough inspection including the mechanicals every single day. They have to pass a comprehensive state inspection by outside inspectors every few months. The local school bus mechanics who do the daily inspections have to pass rigorous evaluation from the state. Audits are extensive. I actually find it very frustrating when parents get all upset about bus safety and start demanding seat belts and school districts don't present the extremely clear and comprehensive data about why seat belts don't improve safety. Uh, when you explain it and give them all the nice material from the federal regulators, they typically understand why no seat belt is safer and they tell other parents but too many school boards are like fine, shut up, whatever and so make the school buses less safe in the name of safety. Oh yeah, the bus driver gets a seat belt because if there were a nice high setback in front of him, instead of the windshield, he couldn't drive so he gets a belt because he is the one guy on the bus who can be thrown out of the vehicle in a head-on collision. So I think there is a bus driver uh, down there who uh, commented on that as a, what, uh, what he said is uh, As a school bus driver you absolutely nailed it. A car accident barely does anything to a bus. The most common failure is a fire, smoke, build up or any type of evacuation. Seat belts would definitely cause people to die especially elementary schoolers. Every morning and every afternoon each driver has to inspect the engine compartment, every wheel and every tire, check the light, windshield wipers, every emergency exit, fuel cap and DEF cap. Battery compartment, windows and windshield step brake test have, have to make sure the seats are securely mounted to the floor without missing any boards and isn't cracked. Buses are extremely safe. It's the safest way to transport students to school. And someone down there uh, just commented on that, that. Do they really do that? Seems like the fact that you also have to check your personal vehicles, lights, road, etc. Every time you drive it and nobody does that. So he uh, replied to that yes sir we have a scanner on every bus we turn it on scan our badge then there are tracks around the bus on in the engine compartment one one in the engine compartment one on each front of the wheel and tire one on the back on one on the front one next to our seat belt one up near the first and eight kit and body fluid kit then there are four students check tags we have to scan after every bus stop so when we can when we scan the tag that involves management that we are checking that area go to fast and scan Go to fast and scan them quickly and not check anything will alert the system. So that was all from today's uh, informational video. I'll see you guys in the next one.